But we were friends before we were ever in a band together. The album, uh, yeah. it's out now. Yeah. But, um, yeah. How did the the, the 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 success of the yeah the past three years? How did it influence your friendship? I don't think it's really changed our friendship. We because we've known each other for so very very long. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, it, yeah. We look. We were friends before we were ever in a band together, and now it's it, it just it just feels doesn't feel normal, but just feels. Right. I reckon it's increased our friendship quite a lot. I don't think... Like, we used to spend a lot of time together before... We're, like, we're, we've been in this band since we were, like, 15, and we were friends since we were, like, 10, and even longer with Pete. Mm. And so... Uh, I, it, it, but I don't think we've ever spent as much time together as we've done in the last three years, no. touring. So no, yeah, absolutely. I think it's, it's really increased our friendship which is kind of you know when you've been lifelong friends mm. you know I think lots of people have got friends from school but they don't actually spend every day <laughs> like on holiday so <laughs> it's, it's really good it's, it's lucky we're very lucky it's an mm. amazing experience to to do this which we love doing making music with your three best friends yeah because it can also work the other way around when people maybe they're friends and they're going to live together in one house for example they, they, they end up finding yeah, each no. other because yeah. it, it, it wasn't so maybe so close as they thought yeah. it would be. Yeah, but I that was not, not the case for you at all? Or? No, I no. don't think so. No, I think when you know each other, you know when to leave, leave alone. I think we've known each other for yeah. so long as well. No and we're all very laid back people. I think, don't you? Yeah. yeah. I think we're all, and like, well you are. Yeah. And so, pretty I think, and you were pretty laid back as well. Yeah. Well, can be a bit first or <laughs> <laughs> And I think, you know, we're just... We're also very lucky in that everything we've done in this band has been really successful. Yeah. So, you know, we haven't had any, any trying mishaps. times, you know, so... We had them for the last ten years before. Though, yeah, <laughs> yeah. So I think, yeah, no, I think it's really enhanced our friendship. And it's probably been one of the best things about yeah. what's happened. I don't mind spending time with you now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> brilliant. <laughs> well, you've always got the crew. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Were there maybe certain events uh, with the band, or maybe besides the band, that brought you even closer in the past three years, maybe? Or? I think within the band, I think uh, going to because doing the sort of amazing things we do. Sometimes you know it's quite an adventure, you know, to go to a new place or to walk out in front of. 100,000 people or mm. to go out live on telly to like 10 million people it's you know those sort of experiences when you do them together is something which only the three of us really share and I think that yeah and understand us, yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. No, absolutely. Really, and you know we've got something we do something exceedingly unique and we're very lucky to do it and at the same time it's something which is very you know it's very exciting scary nerves you know and you know, and I think we've got that shared mm. bond, which yeah. we don't have with anyone else. Yeah, we've so. all been through the same experience. So it's yeah. Nice, yeah. And I think what's great about our friendship is that whenever, if someone's not feeling very well, or if anyone's a bit more nervous about something, or a bit more apprehensive about something, there's always the three of us to, to make a joke about it. Someone's always there to, mm. to make sure that we all get through it. You aren't yeah. very well, though, are you? <laughs> <laughs> cool. There you go. Yeah. Thank you. We'll, we'll get through yeah. it. Yeah. Is that maybe also the power behind Scouting for Girls that, that you really operate as a, yeah, as a, as a trio? Yeah, yeah I think so. Because of the strong friendship you have. Or, yeah. Or, yeah, I think that definitely comes through. You know, because the three of us are so happy and comfortable together that, you know, we can always be ourselves and there's no pretense or any stupid deeperishness. And I think we're lucky with the people around us as well that helps well, us with that. Yeah. That, you know, that we don't have anybody telling us we're amazing, amazing, amazing all the time. You know, we've got friends and family and, and a lot of a lot of people in the industry that we trust. So it's, it's quite nice to have those sort of people around us as well. You're amazing, Pete. Keep you grounded. <laughs> yeah. But I think that's true about the... Uh, our fans, I think, feel very much part yeah. of it. And they feel part of the success of Scout for Girls. It's not like... I think it's, it's different to some bands where you sort of go there as a fan <clears> and you're watching a band. And, uh, you know, like with Scout for Girls, it's almost like a... You know, it, it, we almost tried to start like a movement, like yeah. scouting was for boy. You know, mm -hmm. it, you know, scout for girls is a very tongue-in-cheek title, 
but uh, it does feel like people like have watched, yeah, yeah, watched us play and been with us right from the start, and they feel part of it, and they and we feel that because we, you know, we're very loyal and thankful to our fans. We realise that the only reason we get to do this and have an amazing life is because people go out and buy our records and come see us play, and and we want them to feel proud almost of, of the band and we always sort of think of them we always say it we always say like they're the fourth member of our band and, and I think the, the friendship which we have is is one of the things which people attract which attracts people to our band you know there's a like a positive energy I think about us and our friendship and about the songs we write are very positive as well and I think it's all part of the same thing really. Yeah. Maybe it is, does it also influence maybe the writing process because when you're friends that you can say everything to each other even when maybe a song idea is totally yeah. not good at all? Yeah, or, uh, I think we're, yeah, because I usually, I'll bring most of the songs to Greg and Pete uh, in a very basic format and I generally always think they're amazing when I've written a song, <laughs> I always think it's the next Hey Jude or, you Every know, time. Bohemian Rhapsody and, uh, and they will tell me fairly straight away whether it's any good or not and you know, and we've known each other long enough that I can take that criticism and they're not going to pretend that it's good. Yeah, yeah. It you know, and we'll still bash around with it. But at the same time, you know, they know that if I really uh, think there's something in this song and they think it's rubbish, we'll still play right. it because, they're, you know, they respect the fact that I may see something in there which may yeah. come out at a certain time. Or same as if I don't like something and they like something, we'll carry on playing it and see, see, where, you know, it see where it takes us. Yeah. So it's a, it's a really... You know, it's a very, it's one of the great things about a band. There are very few bands out there who, mm. uh, who, uh, who are successful at the moment, who've done it in the same way that we have, where they're friends beforehand and they're mates at school and they get together through a love of music and that experience from school and they make a band and just do it like that. Mm. It, it's, uh, it's nice, I like. Very yeah. organic. Yeah. <laughs>